in this guitar instruction video, we're going to take some basic chords, locate the relative minor, and play a lead. All right, so we're playing the E second position bar chord. So I'm just playing a random progression. Simply playing an E to a B to a C sharp. Even though I'm in the key of E, where you could play the lead in the key of E, I'm going to play that same shape, that pentatonic blues scale. I'm even going to play it with the extension. And um, I'm going to play the relative minor. So if we're in E, okay, the key of E, all you got to do is go down three half steps. So I'm in E, I'm on the sixth string, 12th fret. Go down three half steps or three frets. One, two, three. Well, that's a C sharp because this is the open E. Six strings, the open E. The first fret's the F, third fret's the G, fifth fret's the A. 7th fret's the B, 8th fret's the C, and C sharp. So I play this scale. This is the blues scale, or the pentatonic scale, with the extension. I can play a different progression. I can play... One four five progression. So the E is the one, the A is the four, E, F, G, A. All right. One, two, three, four, E, F, G, A. The B is going to be the five. So E, A, the B. I'm going to show you the scale, but what I'm doing here, if you're interested in knowing what I'm doing here, I'm on the third string. My first and second fingers are behind my third finger. Third string, 11th fret. Giving a full step bend. Notice I'm bending with my forearm, with my wrist, not with my fingers. So you have more control to bend this way. Practice that. That can take days, a few weeks, before you finally literally feel comfortable bending that way, but it makes a tremendous difference. My first couple of years playing, I was not bending correctly at all. Then my fourth finger, after I bend with my third finger, having the first and second fingers behind my third finger on the third string, 11th fret, my fourth finger is on the second string, 12th fret. So I'm going down, up, 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 down on the third string, up, 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 on the second string with my fourth finger. Then I'm slowly releasing the bend, giving down picks, or you can give alternate picks. So let me show you the scale, okay? So we're gonna start on the sixth string. Mm -hmm. Ninth fret with the first finger, 12th fret with the fourth finger, change up to the fifth string, ninth, and 11th frets, okay, on the 5th string with the 1st and 3rd fingers. Same thing on the 4th string, same frets, same fingering. Now, with uh, with your 2nd finger, 1st finger is going to be on that ninth fret. Sorry about that phone call. And uh, be right back. Nothing important at all there. So once again, we're here. One, four, one, three, one, three. I'm alternating my picking, by the way. Up, up on the um, third string, ninth fret with my first finger. Now I'm using the second finger on the 11th fret. Instead of the third finger, 
That's the extension. Go up from the 11th to the 13th fret on that third string. And then 12th, 14th frets with the first and third fingers. And that's the relative minor. That's C, that's a C sharp. It's the key of C sharp minor, the relative minor from E. Say if I'm in the key of A. Well, look at that. A, go down three half steps. One, two, three. There's your relative minor. So if I'm playing A, to a D, to an E, back to the D, to the A. Another one, four, five progression, just for a simple chord progression example. I'm right in here. Playing this scale right there. Learn this scale, okay? Learn this scale. Today, this is the holy grail of all scales. If you want to play rock, hard rock, metal, this is where it begins. This is where you get a comprehension of being able to hear what leads sound like, you know, you start imp implementing different te techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs, bends, different types of bends, half-step, whole-step, bends. That's where you learn it, okay? That's it. That's a relative minor. It's a relative minor. I'll get, show you one more time. Look, I'm in B, okay? I'm on the seventh fret. Go down three half-steps from that root. One, two, three, G-sharp. Then I'm gonna, you're going to play... The scale right there. That's how easy that is, you know? It's... So, here's that progression again. The original one, E, B, C sharp. I'm just playing the first part of that scale. Memorize the fingering. One, four, one, three, one, three. One, three. Without the extension. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three. What I mean by that is that I'm playing based on this chromatic pattern. One would go on the ninth fret. Four goes on the twelfth fret because it's that distance right there. One, three, because you're skipping their second finger and you're using your first and third finger. But if you use this extension, there's so much that you can do with this extension. It's just an amazing scale. Knowing, I can't I not emphasize enough, the importance of the scale, and knowing how to find the relative minor. Remember, E, all right? Go down three half steps from that root. I'm on the sixth string, 12th fret. One, two, three, C sharp. That's how easy it is. Um, Please comment or ask any questions of me, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.